Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of Ken Plays Crash Landing. So we're pretty much going to start right where we left off last time. Um, I went ahead and made the pressure chamber bigger. I, I have so much compressed iron from uh, going to those buildings in the city that I just, I, I don't even know that it does anything. Um, I was a little surprised these didn't have connected textures, because in 1710 uh, pack that I played, they do, so I was going to make a big window, but it looks silly, so. Um, so anyhow, we made this. It's a 5x5. Five five. I don't know if that does anything or not, but yeah, that's what I did. Uh, so before... I had looked at this quest, and I was like, oh, we're pretty much done here, because we can't do this. Well, we actually can. I can make a printed circuit board. I might even be able to make a couple, I'm not sure. And then I started cooking up rubber to make plastic sheets. And what we need... I think we need this, and some of these, and some of these. Let's just take everything, right? Let's go in here. And so, um, I had rubber from the rubber trees. Uh, this stuff, raw rubber, and you cook it and it turns it into rubber bar, and you cook it again and it turns it into raw plastic. And then for raw plastic is plastic sheets. So that's that. And then the other thing it wanted was a uh, printed circuit board, which, see, we can't make. We can make two. I'm not going to make any more because I don't know what I need. And these are just things I found in the city. I've found all of those and the transistors and the capacitors all in the city. I don't really need any of these. Yeah, slime plant. I don't have that. Oh, ender generator. Oh. So that opened up a couple things. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Oh, look at this. We opened this up too. Yeah, we're not we're not ready for this yet. I don't think. I think we need to go down this one a little farther. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to make here was the pressure chamber interface and what that's going to do for us is instead of having to break the side of this, throw stuff in and then rebuild it, um, that thing's going to be like a door that lets stuff in and out. Let me... iron ore dust. Oh, that's cool. Let me just put this in here for now. Um, so the recipe for that You need six of uh, these plastic for each one, rain plant seeds, so I need 12, which I've already done that. That was one of the things I was doing, was I was outside with a piece of dirt and bone meal, and I was trying to give myself a bunch of seeds. Uh, eventually, we'll set up some sort of way to automate that. I don't know if I even need this. Goodbye. I don't know how much uh, it's going to take there. Uh, there's a way to hook this thing up with redstone uh, to this, and we'll definitely we're going to want to do that after we get these doors built, and uh, then we'll be able to automate this with the doors. And you know, I'm thinking we'll be able to have like input and output chest and do Steve's factory manager here. Um, and then I looked into how to automate the seeds because you need a lot of these seeds and. Uh, I already started making block gates, because the best way that I could find uh, to do that was to do a way that uh, Direwolf did it in one of his videos, and he sets up a bunch of block gates and uses Steve's Factory Manager. And since we're pretty much just using Steve's Factory Manager to do everything, uh, why not? I, I guess I'm just going to keep going with that, and my goal is to just do everything I possibly can with Steve's Factory Manager, just because that's kind of where we're going with it, so... Let's have a look here and see. Yeah, we're building pressure. I'm assuming that because it's larger, it takes longer to build pressure. So maybe I shouldn't have made a big one. Who knows? I might want to tear it down later. I, d I don't know. Um, so let's pause here for a little bit while this cooks up. Okay, we're back. Uh, I've got 12 of these. Uh, there was a slight issue. I knew that the big one was going to take longer. Uh, it took ridiculously longer, and it just wasn't going to happen, actually. Um, so I broke it and made it small again, and it's just... I, I shouldn't have made it so big. That was not necessary. Maybe we'll be able to make it big again later, I'm not sure. So we need... Oh, did I get 
compressed iron, yes. So we need... Oh, levers, yep, yeah, okay. So we'll need two of these, I believe. Right. One, two. Hopper, I didn't get that. No, wait, I did have a hopper. Okay. So then what we can do is put these in. And I think this one, I have to be in there to put it in. Let's see. I believe that's how it goes. Should we put a window back in the top? No. That's what I was worried about. Ugh. Let's just forget the window. Okay, so this is then I believe the input and this is the output. Yes, that is correct. So now what we can do is build up pressure and we shouldn't um, have to break the side. I don't have any charcoal. Okay, we'll let that go. And, so we got that done. Oh, I get all those. Let's hope for a good reward bag. Huh, <laughs> it is a good reward bag. Um, donuts, okay. Sure, why not? Uh, what do we got next? What are we working on? Empty PCB. I don't think I have to make it. Oh wait, empty, unassembled, empty. Compressed iron and a piece of green plastic. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that and a piece of iron. Now I think this is gonna pull out. Let's try it. I think this is not going to work. Can I do that? I thought I could just put it in. Do you have to pipe it in? I didn't think so. Well, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, see, it's going to come right back out. Oh, it's got to get into a chest. Uh, let me come back in a minute here. i got to get a couple things. Okay, I wanted to test it off camera in case I had to do a whole bunch of stuff. So what I did, um, of course you saw that, I put the chest here and it kicked out the wrong things. I went to filter and I changed it to where I could type in and I just typed empty. And so then it held the other two in there and it just kicked this out. I didn't think it was going to do that that fast. So that's good. Oh, step two. Empty PCB into a UV light box. How do we make that? Okay. PCB blueprint. Oh, hello. Not sure. Ouch. Okay. Can I do anything else for the moment? Not so much. Um, 
that's kind of a bummer. Okay, let me um, get some stuff together. We gotta do a bunch more sifting. Okay, thanks to our trusty hammer with the diamond upgrade, I just got mm, a whole bunch of gravel. And it didn't take me too long. So now we're gonna go over here. And I'm gonna swap out the first one and tell it... Oh, it's already set to first slot only. I must have not switched it back at some point in the past. And it should keep using uh, the gravel to keep this full. Oh, I still have one, don't I? Yep, 63. Okay. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take to get that many emeralds. It's going to be a little bit, so we'll be back then. Okay, it's been quite a while and I haven't got anything, so a little bit of change of plans here. I think what we'll do, let me think, one, two, yeah, let's just do two. This might be a waste of my resources, but I want to make some more autonomous activators. I actually already have a machine frame from earlier, so there's one, and then I can make this. Oops, did I click on the right thing? Did I make that? I'm not paying attention. Yes. I need glass. How? Electrum and Invar. How did I not see that? Okay, now what? Invar, Electrum, regular glass, right? Oh, okay, just couldn't shift click it. Okay, two more of those. That should greatly speed things up. I already got the hole open here. First try. And it's set to right click, okay? For the other one, we've got to go down. Oh. Who put their inventory cable right there? Oops. So the thing is, if you break inventory cable, like if I broke this run right here, and then put a, one back, I would lose everything I had done over there. I'd have to go reset it. But if you kind of give it another route, so you can see we've got cable there and cable here. If I do that, I still need one more, don't I? Arg. Can I steal one? Pretty sure I don't need this one. That was a holdover. Um, I also upgraded this. Our barrel's full, so we started filling this up. And if you were really a good observer, you noticed another gold chest in there, and that was a total accident. Now, we should be able to break that, right? Because it was below, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think that was going to work. This will be a little hard to tell, won't it? Possibly impossible to tell. Let us set the back off. And set the sides blue. Okay, so that means it's either up or down. Right? How can I tell that? Um, hmm. Okay, let me figure out how to do this. I don't know how to see it. Okay, I just pulled one of these back out. And... 
can I hit that? No? Hmm. This is gonna be... I should have broke the one on the other side, obviously. Yay! What a mess. Oh, and yeah, I shouldn't have broke that one, see, because... It's gonna lose... And that's what's funny. I was just explaining to you why you can't do something, and then I did it. So we've got to go find where that was, which I believe is under Civ. And that would have been set to the activator, correct? Oh, it can see two. 64 and 65. I'm going to guess it's that one. It doesn't matter. could make it the other one, but I want it to be one that I can get to. And clearly we made it the other one. 64 and 65. How is it not the higher one? That doesn't make sense. Oh. Wait a minute. Yes? No? Let me troubleshoot. Okay, we got it. I I guess before I was set to east for my input, and so I made it down, so I had to go back and change that one to down. Okay, so, back where I was trying to get to a couple minutes ago, we've got three activators. Just grab some dust here and fill this hole in. Yeah, except for that one. And what you should notice is it's going to come out much faster. See that? Significantly faster. So I, I hope that was worth the resources we used. I still don't have an emerald. We started with three and we still have three. <sighs> okay. So, we'll just come back um, in a while. Okay, we still don't have any emeralds. However, I think I can do a quest here. Yes. That was this one. Okay, so we gotta make that. I'm not ready for that. Ender generator. I could make that, probably. I'm just trying to find some other things to do here. Let's look and see what it takes to make an ender generator. Why don't I see it? Oh, right there. Can I make one more of those? How many ender pearls do I have? I got a pretty good amount. Let's see. Oh, we need water. I put this here. I thought I'd just be able to walk through and it would kind of get me. And usually I go through too fast and it doesn't work. So I've just gotten in the habit again of standing there, which, you know, whatever. Uh, so we need a circuit board. Oh, right. I don't. Oh, yeah, we might. Okay. Wait, what? Check it one more time. Right, so we didn't need any compressed iron. Okay. I just, I do not know this mod. I do not. And I think I had some redstone here. And what else did we need? See, I can't remember anything. I'm terrible. Oh, yeah. Should have plastic. There's that. And we need some ender pearls and some redstone and a furnace. And eight. Let's just go nine because I don't know if I counted right. 
And uh, we're going to need some glowstone and what, like five ender pearls? However many that was. Let's just say one more. Okay. Two of these. And what do I have? I guess you can't shift click this. Hey, look at that. An ender generator. Where were we? Basic? Yeah, we need to build a lot of these machines, and they're all going to be taking all that pneumatic craft stuff, and I'm kind of using up all my... Oh, we've got an unclaimed reward, huh? How can I... Oh, i got to pick one. Electrum, Invar. Well, let's go with the Invar. Basic AE. Yeah, see, a lot of these are going to take a lot of machines. And I want to get a little farther in the Matic Craft, so we've got some more stuff automated, and it's going to be much easier. <sighs> I still don't have... And I, I'm sure it's gravel, right? That would be funny if I was doing the wrong thing. Not really. Oh, wait, is it this one? Yes, gravel gives you emeralds. 1%. I'm not getting any. I mean, it's definitely... Definitely doing something. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. How many of you noticed that earlier? That I did not change it back to first slot. That makes a huge difference. We were not going through as much gravel as we could have been. Let me get rid of all this stuff. Oh, hello. Don't want that. Uh, what can I get rid of? This, 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 this. That's it. Machine frame? I guess I'll keep that. I don't know what to do with snow. Still three. Um, I don't know where to put that for the moment, so... We're not really using a lot of power right now, though we will be. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, see, I don't want to... I don't want to try to make stuff manually. I want to wait until we get that automated to try and make machines. So that's those two. So I think we're done with that for now. And then we're waiting on this. And... How do you make etching acid? Maybe I don't need that many emeralds if I just do that. Two buckets of water, two gunpowder, two rotten flesh, two spider eyes. Wow. Okay, let me gather that. Okay, I think I've got everything here. I need one more. So let's see. If we change this to plastic... Is that how this starts off? Yeah, okay. Plastic. And then I put one seed in. Wish we had a window. I've I've used all my spots. I can't see anything. Okay. So then we've got to change this. What is it? Go get etching. Etching. Okay. And we'll give it this, and this, and this, and this, and that, I do believe. And it's got to be above one. Oh yeah, we're at three. Yep, 
it's getting there. So if we had a bigger pressure chamber, maybe I could have a couple of those and then I could have an input chest and Steve's could try to stick it in several at once and we'd get several inputs going at a time. Just, you know, because I like things to go fast. Wow, it's kind of like super annoying just hearing that continuously. Speaking of that, I have done a couple things off camera and I, I forget to talk about them. At one point you probably noticed like, oh, there's some more barrels. I didn't talk about it. You saw me set the first one up, so I just expanded. Um, I made a sound muffler right there. You can see it under the glass, and that's why there's no sound. Why isn't that getting sucked in? Uh, so I wanted to mention that, the sound muffler. That's why it's quieter over there. Etching acid. Okay. An iron and an emerald. Oh, I need one more of those. Oops. Where is it? No. Okay, my, oh, it's up here. Let's do this again. Okay. Plastic. And you go in there. And I need a compressed iron and an emerald. Oh, that's weird. My sound's glitchy. I've never had that happen before. that get us? Yeah, okay, so we got a blueprint. So I don't need all those emeralds then? See, I wish I knew this mod. It would save me some time. Okay, so we got to put that in the light box, right? That's where we were. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, glowstone, redstone, okay. Let me get all this. Okay, I think I've got everything I need here. Three of these. Some of those. And UV light box. Okay. A few speed upgrades, which I do have some speed upgrades. So it just doesn't, what, well, it just doesn't take power? I'm not real clear. So it does take, okay. I was not sure. I don't know which side, okay, it must hook up underneath. All right. Can I just set it? No. Oh, because this only hooks up to one side, right? What happens if I put it here? Okay. So I can move my speed upgrades here. And somewhere we have that thing, right? There it is. I'm not sure how much faster it's going to go. I better get some charcoal just in case. That should be more than enough. Yeah, still no emerald. Wow. My game feels a little laggy for some reason. Okay, 10 out of 10. All right, let's come back when this is done. All right, we are almost there. Very close. All right, 100 out of 100. So now, to, now I have to throw it in etching acid because I kind of used that, didn't I, to make this thing? No, that was that other quest, right? No, where did my etching acid go? I used it though, right? Um. I did use it. Was it this one? Yes, okay. So I gotta make another etching acid. That's a bummer. Alright, let me do that. Okay, the last item just went in to make the etching acid. I don't know if it just makes it real fast or if it... Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, so I think 
we dig like a hole and throw the thing in there. Let's go here. Hopefully I can pick this stuff back up, right, when I'm done. Yes. Is that going to hurt me, though? Hmm. Okay, so I guess we got to wait for this. So uh, We'll be back again when this does something. Okay, we are almost done here. And we're done. That was it. Uh, that is acid. It does hurt you. Don't ask me how I know. Um, one of the neat things in Minecraft, well, it's neat if you're trying to do it, if you want to pull something out, you can go catty corner here, and it'll jump into my inventory, and I don't have to touch the acid. Okay. Was that what it wanted? Was the unassembled? Yes. And etching acid. Okay. Oh, hello. That's a lot. GPS tool. Whoa. Okay, so I think this is an excellent stopping point for the episode, because I can already see where we're headed. What we're going to do next time is we're going to continue with the pneumatic craft, and I want to automate some things. Um, I'd like to automate the seed production, because we need seeds, and maybe we can definitely automate this. I don't know about this, but we'll concentrate on the seed production and maybe looking into some more quests um, like this one, because I think this is going to do our PCBs uh, better, but I'm not sure on that. So we will continue then. I will see you next time.